Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's going on? So the brother Earl the Truth Spence Jr., he posted on his Instagram a couple of days ago, uh, showed a close-up of his right eye, the eye that he suffered a retina tear injury on. And of course, this is post-surgery. He actually had surgery like the following day it was diagnosed or like two days after it was diagnosed and um he wore a patch for a while you know he's finally able to go without the eye patch and we see the results of the surgery and i mean eye looks good you know what i'm saying he looks like he's healing up pretty good but of course that's just the the aesthetic aspect of his progress and his current condition right now we don't really know uh, what it feels like or what his vision is like right now we don't really know what percentage of health he's at with that particular injury so i'm just assuming that it's going to take some time for him to get back to 100 percent, for him to get back to a point where he can go back to normal activities when it comes to boxing sparring um, you know, being able to take punches. Of course, you don't want to get hit, but it's boxing. You're going to get hit, whether it's sparring or in a real fight. You're going to get touched, period. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he has to be able to get back to a point where he can sustain, you know, just the, the normal everyday punches that you're going gonna to have to face when you're in some type of combat, um, when you're training or in a fight. So I don't know where he's at with that. I don't know when he'll be able to spar again and get back to those activities. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on that. And hopefully it'll be quicker than what we all think. But what I wanted to talk about was just, you know, just that, um, what it what it, what it could look like for him going forward, what we could possibly expect with this particular injury. To be honest with you, just off of uh, my personal opinion and just – taking precaution extra precaution man i would hope to see earl spence of course i would like best case scenario he will be 100 percent healed up and be 100 percent confident that he can start back training and, and and fighting and stuff like that as soon as possible within the next couple of months but that's just not likely when you look at the history of fighters who have suffered this type of injury and the time that they've had to take off. And then you look at some guys that have came back too early and you see how far that set them back. You know, guys come back too early, they end up getting retired. You know what I'm saying? Or guys come back too early, they end up having that same eye get torn again or the other one. Because, you know, if you fuck up one, you might put strain on the other eye. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of different things that go into it. So... What I would like to see is for Earl Spence to take as much time as possible. Take as much time as he possibly can. Don't worry about them belts. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I want to see Earl Spence become undisputed. I want to see him retain his titles and then come back and defend them and possibly have a unification match with either the winner out of Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford or who's ever holding that WBA belt because I know the WBA just put out a um, uh, um a, a mandate for Ugas to fight Imanta Stanionis, and then because Stanionis, I believe, is number one right now in the WBA um, as far as a contender, and then there's a a pending fight on top of that, uh, on the back end of that between I believe Jamal James and somebody else. So the winner out of those two fights will end up fighting. They said that they would have to fight by 2022, but that Ugas and Stanionis fight going to have to happen off top. So let's say that fight happens, Ugas wins or Stanionis wins, really don't matter to me. But Earl could come back and fight the winner out of that fight because who's ever holding that belt would have to make that next fight by 2022. But that means... They can still have a fight in between that after Ugas and Stanionis. So 
You know what I'm saying? It's a couple of different scenarios. Like I said, I would love for Earl to retain his titles, come back and do a unification or defend. Either way, he going to have options with the winner out of Bud and Sean and the winner out of Stanionis and Ugas. He going to have options. But if it comes down to him having to lose one of those titles or both of them because he needs to take the time off, then so be it. I have no problem with that at all because, to be honest with you, man, as much as I love Undisputed, as much as I love being able to crown one guy as champion, one face, one name, one champion, as much as I love that and as much as I would love that for Earl Spence Jr. being, you know, one of my favorite fighters, being from Dallas, Texas, you know what I'm saying, a guy that I support wholeheartedly and wish nothing but the best for, as much as I would love that for him, th these belts don't define Earl Spence. These belts don't determine his legacy. Earl Spence is going to be Earl Spence with or without these belts. He's still going to have a solid, thriving fan base. He's still going to have an area, a city, a metroplex, a state, a region that's going to support him no matter what. You know what I'm saying? A demographic that's going to support him no matter what. A culture that's going to support him no matter what. You dig what I'm saying? So that's that's neither here nor there. He's still going to be able to sell out arenas and stadiums and put up big numbers and make big mega fights as long as he's boxing, as long as he is Earl Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? As long as he can go out there and perform at a high level, he's still going to have those those things that, that come with his brand. You know what I'm saying? So if he decides to say, man, look, I'm going to take all the time off that I need and it comes down to a situation where he ends up getting stripped of these titles or put in champion and recess or some shit like that. If he want to come back and say, all right, I'll do one more fight at 147 versus the winner out of Crawford and Porter, then cool, you know, and then move up to 154. I'm not tripping on that. You know what I'm saying? I think the priority here should be his health and getting back to 100 percent healthy. You know what I'm saying? So he can. When he does come back, he good. He ain't got to worry about, damn, you know, is my eye going to be fucked up? You know what I mean? Do I got to, you know, am I still the same and all that shit? You know, take all the time you need. Let your shit fully heal up. I'm pretty sure he had the very best of the best people working on his, on his eye. And I'm pretty sure that uh, from everything that we know, surgery went well. I mean, he's he don't have the eye patch on no more. I'm, that's, that's pretty quick turnaround. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, everything looks like it's going well. So continue on that uh, healing process. And then shit, when it's time to get back in the ring and you ready, you full, you know, you fully healthy, then you go after what you want. Whether that be uh, you still got your belts, you still want to pursue Undisputed at 147, then great, go do that. Or if you want to say, fuck it, man, I'm going to move up to 154. I'm with whatever. You know what I'm saying? As long as Earl Spence take the time that he need to get back to 100%. That's what I think he should focus on. But, you know, I feel like that's a conversation that we need to have for a lot of people that's anticipating Earl Spence coming back. People thinking that, oh, this is just going to be some quick shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, this might be something that's going to take a little time. You know what I mean? Just to be on the safe side. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. How do y'all feel about uh, where Earl Spence is right now in uh, the healing process with this, uh, you know, post retina tear surgery and all of that. And uh, what's your expectations for him coming back? I mean, do you expect him to be back in a certain amount of time? Like what's y'all drop that down in the comments? What's y'all expectations on when y'all expect to see Earl Spence Jr. back in the ring? And, um, you know, what will he where he'll be fighting at? Is he going to be fighting at 147, 154? Is he, is he still going to be champion at that time? Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Contender regime boxing. I'll holler at y'all boys, man.